The Carl Gustav, Swedish pronunciation, also known as Gustav Bazooka and M2CG, is an 84mm man portable reusable anti tank recoilless rifle produced by Saab Bofors Dynamics, formerly Bofors Anti Armorab, in Sweden. Although most rounds fired by the Carl Gustav work on the classic recoilless principle, modern rounds sometimes add a post firing booster that technically make it a rocket launcher. The first prototype of the Carl Gustav was produced in 1946 as a lightweight anti armor weapon, one of many similar designs of that era. While similar weapons have generally disappeared from service, the Carl Gustav remains in widespread use today. A combination of lightweight, low cost, and widely varied ammunition types makes the Carl Gustav extremely flexible and able to be used in a wide variety of roles where single purpose weapons like the M72 law passed out of service as newer tank designs rendered them ineffective. In its country of origin, it is officially named GRG M-48, Granite Gevar, Grenade Rifle, Model 1948. British troops refer to it as the Charlie G, while Canadian troops often refer to it as Carl G. In US military service, it is known as the M3 Multirole Anti-Armor Anti-Personnel Weapon System, MAWS, or Ranger Anti-Tank Weapon System, RAWS, but is often called the Gustav or the Goose or simply the Carl Johnson by American service members. In Australia, it is irreverently known as Charlie Gutsake, Gutsake, slang for stomach pain, or Charlie Swede. History The Carl Gustav was developed by Hugo Abramson and Harold Jensen at the Kungliga Arm Vorbild Nijens Tigavdelning, Royal Swedish Arms Administration, and produced at Carl Gustav Stadsgavars factory from where it derives its name. The weapon was first introduced into Swedish service in 1948 as the 8,4cm Granite Gevar M-48, GRG M-48, filling the same anti-tank role as the US Army's Bazooka, British PIAT and German Panzerschreck. Unlike these weapons, however, the Carl Gustav used a rifled barrel for spin stabilizing its rounds, as opposed to fins used by the other systems. The use of the recoilless firing system allowed the Carl Gustav to use ammunition containing considerably more propellant, firing its rounds at 290 m s 950 feet s as opposed to about 105 m s 340 feet s for the Panzerschreck and Bazooka and about 75 m s 250 feet s for the PIAT. The result was superior accuracy at longer ranges. The Carl Gustav can be used to attack larger stationary targets at up to 700 meters 2,300 feet, but the relatively low speed of the projectile restricts attacks on moving targets to a range of 400 meters 1,300 feet or less. The Carl Gustav was soon sold around the world and became one of the primary squad-level anti-tank weapons for many West European armies. An improved version, M2, was introduced in 1964 and quickly replaced the original version. The current M3 version was introduced in 1991, using a thin steel liner containing the rifling, strengthened by a carbon fiber outer sleeve. External steel parts were replaced with aluminium alloys or plastics, reducing the empty weapon weight considerably from 16.35 kg, 36.0 pounds, to 10 kilograms, 22 pounds. In recent years, the weapon has found new life in a variety of roles. The British Special Air Service, United States Army Special Forces and United States Army Rangers use M3S in bunker busting and anti-vehicle roles, while the German Bundeswehr maintains a small number of M2S for battlefield illumination. Many armies continue to use it as a viable anti-armor weapon, especially against 1950s and 1960s era tanks and other armored vehicles still in use worldwide. In an incident during the Falklands War, Royal Marines defending Gritviken drove off an Argentinian corvette, the Araguarico, with small arms fire, 66mm anti-tank rockets and their Carl Gustav. The Carl Gustav was used against Taliban defensive fortifications by soldiers of Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry in operations in Afghanistan. 
they developed a new system for firing at night in which a spotter with a night scope fires tracer ammunition to mark the target for the Carl Gustav gunner. Carl Gustav launchers were used by Free Libyan Army during the Libyan Civil War in 2011, the weapons being used were either captured or provided by defecting members of the Libyan Army. In November 2011, the U.S. Army began ordering the M3 Maas for regular units deployed in Afghanistan. Soldiers were being engaged with RPGs at 900 meters, while their light weapons had effective ranges of 500 to 600 meters. The Carl Gustav allows airburst capability of troops in defilade out to 1,250 meters, and high explosive use out to 1,300 meters. While the weapon provides enhanced effectiveness, its 9.5 kilograms, 21 pounds, weight burdens troops. On March 28, 2013, USOCOM announced a call for sources to develop a kit to lighten the M3 Maas and reduce overall length without affecting handling or ruggedness. By that time, Saab was developing a weight-reduced version prior to the SACOM release that demonstrated no decrease in performance, no increase in recoil, and nearly equivalent barrel life that could be ready for government testing in 2014. Saab has also developed a new high-explosive round that has a direct fire range of 1,500 meters when using a fire control system. At AUSA 2014, Saab Dynamics displayed its new Carl Gustav M4 variant. Compared to the M3 Maas, the M4 is 3.4 kilograms, 7.5 pounds, lighter weighing 6.6 kilograms, 15 pounds, and shorter with a 950 mm, 37 in, overall length. The shorter length was in response to the need to wield the weapon in urban terrain, and weight savings were achieved through using lighter components whenever possible including a carbon fiber tube with titanium liner, as well as a new Venturi design. Other new features include a red dot sight, a travel safety catch to allow the M4 to be carried while loaded, an adjustable shoulder rest and forward grip for improved ergonomics, a shot counter to keep track of how many rounds have been fired to manage the weapon's 1,000 round barrel life, Picatinny rails for grips and sight mounts, and a remote round management function so intelligent sites can talk to programmable rounds. The Defense Department agreed to evaluate the shorter and lighter M4 version over the next two years, testing and qualifications were planned to be completed in spring 2017, and the weapon type classified as the M3A1 in fall 2017, making the system available for procurement to all Department of Defense services. The first unit is planned to be equipped with the M3A1 in 2018. Description The basic weapon consists of the main tube with the breech-mounted Venturi recoil damper, with two grips near the front and a shoulder mount. The weapon is fitted with iron sights, but is normally aimed with the attached 3 times optical sight with a 17 degree, 300 mil, field of view. The most modern variants fielded by Swedish rifle companies have been fitted with the Swedish Aimpwang sighting system. Luminous front and rear sight inserts are available for the iron sights when aiming at night, and an image intensification system may also be used. The Carl Gustav can be fired from the standing, kneeling, sitting or prone positions, and a bipod may be attached in front of the shoulder piece. An operating handle called the Venturi lock is used to move the hinged breech to one side for reloading. The weapon is normally operated by a two-man crew, one carrying and firing the weapon, the other carrying ammunition and reloading. Specifications Caliber, 84mm rifled, 24 lands, progressive twist. Crew, 2 optimal, 1 minimal. Weights, 14.2 kg, M2, 8.5 kg, M3, 0.8 kg, mount, 7.0 kg, M4. Length, 1.13 M, M2, 1.07 M, M3, 1.0 M, M4. Breach, hinged. Rate of fire, 6 rounds per minute. Sights, iron sights, optical 3 times, laser rangefinder, image intensification system. M3 Maas. 
The M3 Multi-Role Anti-Armor Anti-Tank Weapon System, MAAS, is the U.S. military designation for the Carl Gustav M3 recoilless rifle. It is primarily used by United States Special Operations Commands such as the Army Rangers, Army Special Forces, Marine Raiders, Navy SEALs, and JSOC operators. When used by the U.S. Army's 75th Ranger Regiment, the M3 is known as the Ranger Anti-Tank Weapon System, RAWS. In the late 1980s, the Special Operations Forces Modernization Action Plan indicated need for a Ranger Anti-Armor-Anti-Personnel Weapon System, RAWS, to replace the M67 recoilless rifle in use by the 75th Ranger Regiment. A market survey in 1987 indicated that the Carl Gustav M3 was the best candidate for satisfying RAW's requirements. On September 29, 1988, the M3 was selected as the RAW's from candidate proposal submitted in response to the market survey compiled by Ardec. A subsequent review of the contractor supplied fatigue test data determined that the data did not meet U.S. Army requirements. Bennett Laboratories conducted fatigue test of two tubes to establish an interim safe service life for the weapon. Tests were conducted in 1993. The manufacturer's recommended life for the weapon was 500 rounds, but bore surfaces showed no indications of erosion until 2,360 rounds. The U.S. Navy SEALs became interested in the program and moved it to a joint integrated product team. The program name subsequently changed from the RAWS to the Multi-Role Anti-Armor Anti-Personnel Weapon System, MAAS. Army Rangers found the M3 Carl Gustav was best employed using a two-man team. One person would carry the launcher and be armed with a pistol for personal protection, and the other would carry five to six rounds of ammunition and act as a spotter for the gunner. Although the single shot at four is lighter and can be carried by one person, a Gustav team with the heavier recoilless rifle can reload and fire more rounds. The M3 Maas fires the following ammunition. High Explosive Dual Purpose, HEDP, Round. High Explosive Anti-Tank, Heat, Round. High Explosive, Heat, Round. Illumination Round. Smoke Round. High Explosive Anti-Tank, Rocket Assisted. Projectile, Heat Wrap Slash 551, in late 2012, the Army fielded 58 minutes and 3 seconds and 1,500 rounds of ammunition to units deployed to Afghanistan to destroy enemy targets out to 1,000 meters. This was because RPG and machine gun teams could attack 900 meters away, while existing weaponry like the M141 Bunker Defeat Munition, M72 Law, M136 at 4 and MK153 SMAW had effective ranges of only 500 meters. The at 4 is lighter and cheaper but is made of reinforced fiberglass, while the M3S rifled metal slash carbon fiber launch tube allows for reloading. Employing the 22 pounds M3 is easier than the 50 pounds FG M148 Javelin with its launcher with missile and reusable command launch unit, is faster than waiting on mortars and is cheaper than the javelin and artillery shells for engaging targets in hard cover. Although Special Operations Forces had been using the M3 since the early 1990s, Light Infantry Unit Commanders in Afghanistan had to submit operational needs statements to get the weapon. The M3 became an official program of record in the conventional army in 2014, and a conditional materiel release was authorized in late 2015 to equip all brigade combat teams with one M3 launcher per infantry platoon. In 2017, the U.S. Army approved a requirement for 1,111 M3E1 units and field them to soldiers as part of an urgent material release. The M3E1 is part of the product manager crew served weapon portfolio. A key benefit of the M3E1 is that it can fire multiple types of rounds, giving soldiers increased capability on the battlefield. By using titanium, the updated M3E1, based on the M3A1 introduced in 2014, is more than 6 pounds lighter. The M3E1 is also 2.5 inches shorter and has an improved carrying handle, shoulder padding and an improved sighting system that can be adjusted for better comfort without sacrificing performance. 
the wiring harness was included in the M3E1 configuration that provides a foregrip controller and programmable fuse center for an interchangeable fire control system. For added safety and cost savings, an automatic round counter enables soldiers and logistic Ians to accurately track the service life of each weapon. The M3E1 uses the same family of ammunition as the M3, which has been successfully tested. In November 2017, the U.S. Marine Corps announced they planned to procure the M3E1 Maas. 1,200 M3E1S would be acquired with one fielded to every infantry squad. In addition to infantry use, the Marines are considering it to replace the SMAW in combat engineer squads. While the SMAW weighs 2.5 pounds, 1.1 kilograms, less loaded, the Maas has a greater variety of ammunition available and a maximum effective range of 1,000 meters, twice that of the SMAW, the Marines plan to test both weapons' effectiveness against bunkers to inform their decision. Ammunition Improvements to the ammunition have been continual. While the older heat rounds are not particularly effective against modern tank armor, the weapon has found new life as a bunker buster with an HEDP round. In addition, improved heat, high explosive, heat, smoke and illumination, star shell or flare, ammunition is also available. For full effectiveness, illumination rounds have to be fired at a very high angle, creating a danger for the gunner as the back blast from firing can burn him. For this reason, several armies have retired the illumination rounds, while the US Army requires that they be fired from a standing position. Note that the following are Swedish designations, other countries use similar terminology, replacing the FFV, Forsveritz Fabriksverk. FFV441 is an he-round, useful in a lob trajectory to 1,000M, which can be fused to either detonate on impact or as an air burst. FFV441B is an he-round with an effective range against personnel in the open of 1,100M. The round arms after 20 to 70 m of flight weighs 3.1 kilograms and is fired at a muzzle velocity of 255 m s FFV-469 is a smoke round fired like the FFV-441, with a range of about 1,300 m. The 3.1 kilograms round is also fired at 255 m s FFV-502 is an HEDP round with the ability to be set to detonate on either impact or one-tenth of a second afterwards. Effective range is 1000M against dispersed soft targets such as infantry in the open, 500M against stationary targets and 300M against moving targets. Minimum range is 15 to 40M to arm the warhead. Penetration exceeds 150mm of rolled homogeneous armor, RHA. Ammunition weight is 3.3 kg and muzzle velocity is 230 m s FFV-509 is an ASM, anti-structure munition, designed especially for destroying buildings and other types of urban constructions. The fuse has two modes, impact, or a delayed function. FFV-545 is an illuminating star shell, fired up to 2300 m maximum range, but with an effective envelope of 300 to 2100 m suspended by parachute, the star shell burns for 30 seconds while producing 650,000 candela, providing a 400 to 500 m diameter area of illumination. FFV-551 is the primary heat round and is a rocket-assisted projectile, RAP. Effective range is up to 700 m, 400 m against moving targets, and penetration up to 400 mm of RHA. Ammunition weight is 3.2 kg and muzzle velocity is 255 m s FFV-552 is a practice round with the same ballistics as the 551. FFV-651 is a newer heat round using mid-flight rocket assistance for ranges up to 1,000M. In theory, it has less penetration than the FFV-551, but it includes a standoff probe for the fuse to improve performance against reactive armor. Heat 655 CS, confined spaces, high explosive anti-tank, heat, 
round that can be fired by the 84mm Carl Gustav recoilless weapon from within small enclosures. FFV751 is a tandem warhead heat round with an effective range of 500m and ability to penetrate more than 500mm of armor. Weight is 4kg. FFV756 is an MT, multi-target, ammunition, designed for combat in built-up areas and for incapacitating an enemy undercover inside a building or some type of fortification. The MT-756 uses a tandem charge. Risks to users Blast overpressure is generated from the firing of this weapon, possibly causing burn and related injuries to users and those nearby. Users Argentina Australia, M2 replaced by M3 variant Argentina Australia, M2 replaced by M3 variant Austria Bangladesh Belgium Belize Botswana asterisk Brazil Burkina Faso Canada Czech Republic Denmark, M2 called M-79 M3 called M-85. Commonly referred to as Dezekanen in the army. Estonia, M2, M3. Germany. Ghana. Greece. Honduras. India, a modified version has also been developed by the DRDO which is significantly lighter due to use of advanced composites. Indonesia, used by the Komando Pasukan Kadhok, Kopaska, Tactical Diver Group and Commando Pasukan Kuzis, Kopasis, Special Forces Group. Ireland, Defence Forces Specialist Units, including Army Ranger Wing, ARW. Israel. Japan, M2 called 84mm recoilless rifle, M3 called multi-purpose gun. Kenya. Kuwait. Latvia, M2, M3. Libya. Lithuania, M2, M3. Malaysia. Myanmar, used by divisional heavy weapon companies in bunker busting slash infantry support slash light artillery role for counterinsurgency campaigns. Nepal. New Zealand. Nigeria. Norway. Poland, used by special forces. Portugal. Sierra Leone. Slovakia, M3. Launch customer for the M4 variant, which became operational in July 2017. Sweden. Liberation Tiger Soft Tamil Elam Flag. JPG Tamil Elam, used by the Tamil Tigers during the final Elam War. Thailand. United Arab Emirates. United Kingdom, M2 variant was used from the 1970s until the early 1990s. AEI Systems Limited a British defence products manufacturer headquartered in Ascot, Berkshire, offers a variant of the platform dubbed the AE-84RCL designed to fire the M540-M550 line of 84x246mm ammunition manufactured in Belgium by Mekar. United States, used by USOCOM, US Army Ranger Battalions, and some regular US Army infantry units in the war in Afghanistan. In February 2014, the M3 Maas was designated as a program of record within the U.S. Army and became standard issue in Army Light Infantry Units. Venezuela Zambia Former Users Netherlands, the M2 was in service with the Royal Netherlands Army since 1964, known as the Terugstedloos Vermond, TLV, 84mm, Carl Gustav M2. It is used in combination with the Kijker, Richt, Recht, 2x12 Wohler scope. The same model was also used in the Dutch Marine Corps, where it was known as the Terugstedloos Vermond, TLV, Van 84mm, Carl Gustav, M2. It was replaced by the Panzer Faust III. Singapore, replaced by Matador in 2013. Type Multirole, Anti Armor, Anti-fortification, anti-personnel, illumination. Place of origin Sweden. Service history. In service 1948, present. Used by sea users. Wars Vietnam War. Falklands War. 
Lebanese Civil War Cargill War War in Afghanistan Iraq War Elam War 4 Libyan Civil War Syrian Civil War 2013 Lahad Dadu Standoff Production History Designer Hugo Abramson, Siegfried Axelson, and Harold Jensen Designed M1, 1946 M2, 1964 M3, 1991 M4, 2014 Manufacturer Saab Bofors Dynamics, formerly Bofors anti armorab HAWA, License Specifications Weight Rifle, 8.5 kg, 19 pounds Mount, 0.8 kg, 1.8 pounds Length overall, 1.1 m, 3 feet 7 in Crew 2, Gunner and Loader but may be used by a single operator at a reduced rate of fire. Cartridge 84 x 246 mmr. Caliber 84 mm, 3.31 inches. Rate of fire 6 rounds per minute. Muzzle velocity 230 to 255 m/s, 750 to 840 feet/s. Effective firing range. 300 to 500 m against vehicles 700 m against stationary targets 1000 m against stationary targets w slash rocket boosted ammunition feed system hinged breech sights open iron sights optical three times laser range finder image intensification system please subscribe and thanks for watching